Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. What are we talking about? We're talking about the legalities of eating beaver. That's just ridiculous. So I eat beaver. It's fine. No one's going to get in trouble for doing it. (laughs) Okay, you know I had to open with that. You know you're keeping that forever. Because I was just working blue in Albuquerque, so I have to. Yes, you were. I have to ease back in. I know a lot of stuff. You know, I take one day off, Jody, and I, let me just, uh, let's just review. What did I miss? Did I, Donald Trump's one witness act like such an a-hole that the Trump, that the judge had to clear the entire yes. court? Yes. Okay. And Are you staring me a, down? The judge said. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he, uh, let's see, called for Biden's execution over the weekend. Yeah. Also uh, talked about having a third term. Uh-huh. David. And a third Reich. Oh, third Reich. His mm-hmm. ad yeah. uh, right. uses the word, literally uses the word Reich. Reich. Did I miss anything significant? Was there any? Oh, he also said that he created uh, Minneapolis and he won uh, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Neither of those things are true. Okay. Hi. I'm Hi. dressed like you because I want to, because I'm, you know, I'm Trump-like. We look, we look <laughs> Jody was going to wear yeah. her new Stephanie uh-huh. Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World. But yeah. She did How Look, the baseball shirts are here. Aren't they fantastic? I am not a baseball shirt person, but you made me wear it. <laughs> yes, did. I did. <laughs> Did you see the four guys in the red ties? They're called the uh, the four treasons. Yeah. Get it? Uh huh. I get it. <laughs> wow, they are down to like Z list. Who was there? Only Crooks, Bernard Carrick, and yeah. who else was there? Bernie Carrick was. I thought he was in jail. I thought they finally got him in jail. <laughs> That's the thing. The Trump supporters showing up. You're like, isn't that guy in jail? Oh, he's out of jail. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Okay then. Um, okay, so I, that's a light dusting of just what I has. We've become so numb that we're just normalizing that. At least Rudy was served. Yes, yes that was, that was on his birthday. <laughs> on his 80th on his birthday. Oh, I'd give anything for a hidden camera. What? what? This is despicable. Get your hands off me. It's my birthday. He was served by someone who was singing him happy birthday. <laughs> that is amazing. Suffer and suck attack. Get your hands off, put it on me. And then, of course, he did his stupid, you know, boasty thing a day before. Uh-huh. Yeah, they'll never come and get me, copper will never take me. <laughs> when you're that public and tell everybody right. where you are, yeah, when you're that braggadocious, you. Idiot, you idiot. Uh huh. I was backstage with Valerie Plame. She was waiting to go on, and I broke the news to her. <laughs> She's like, "What? How like, cool yes. a chick is Valerie Plame? She's a cool chick." By the way, thank you, Albuquerque. What a yeah! Oh my God! Oh, did I tell you? <laughs> I didn't know what was happening before the show. I hear this. I was like, "What happened?" Chris just walked on stage. He put Brantley's <laughs> clock out yeah, there and set a clock out, down, like, completely in the like, dark. Hi. And the crowd was like, "I was like, oh, this is going to be." But the a, thing is, a good show. I was sitting at the front door checking like the VIP pe- VIP people in, so yeah. everybody saw me anyway as they were walking in. It's, you never so, get over it. Once you see you, it's why? never. It's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah, wait till Jody walks on stage. I know, right? Yeah, it's going to be bedlam. All right, but anyway, here, do you want to feel a thousand years old, Chris? Could I get some nostalgia music? I already do feel a thousand years old. (laughs) Yes, it obviously takes mommy a day to recover now from... (sighs) My body clock's all... I think I went to sleep at like four o'clock yesterday. Then I was up half the night. I don't... My body doesn't know what's happening. Did you watch a Julia Roberts movie? Not the one on Netflix, though. (laughs) No. No? But Jody and I have a date. And I told her she's gonna. I she know wants Lonnie's, me to go in the lady lane. We need Lonnie's, the Lonnie's music pretty. Because... Yeah, no. We'll use... Okay. Lon- oh no, we'll use this. Okay. Lonnie's pretty, but I'm like, I can get you to take a dip in a lady leg. We have a date to go that's, see that's, President Biden. I could Biden. sue her for that. You certainly could. You could. Yeah, but why don't you bring it up to HR? Ron, mm-hmm. George, <laughs> George. <Casey? laughs> I'm in George is of, not HR. I'm in charge of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> what's, your, what's your concern, little lady? I could legally sue you. Well, you know what? Can I just say nice? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we have a date to meet uh, President uh, Biden, President oh. Obama, Julia Roberts, George Clooney, and Jimmy Kimmel here in L.A. All right. Lindy Lee invited us to a fundraiser. That's cool. Okay. She's hopefully going to. If she's out here, she'll come in studio. I would love that. I'd that love to meet great. her. That would be great. Very exciting. That would be fantastic. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah, Jody, of course, will have to dress me. I know. Trust me, I know. Yeah. We don't even know what the dress code is at this point. No, we do not. But Lindy Lee, she knew who Jody's mom was, and she's like, oh, my God, you two are royalty. I'm going to flag that you're coming. And I'm like, good, because we bought the cheapest tickets, so we're not. 
<laughs> we're not in the <laughs> She told me what the packages are. I was like, oh, no. We can't. No. We work in our basement. We don't. Yeah. We're in progressive radio. We don't. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe f- maybe help fund progressive radio <laughs> and yeah. could afford to. T- <laughs> if I had that money, I'd yeah. be working in my basement. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Nostalgia music. This is oh, where okay. uh, Chris and I realize that we are uh, 11 billion years old. Oh, yes. This. So, you know, Audra, our uh, Charlie Wrangle impersonator. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. This technically was an impersonation. <laughs> that girl. It was an impersonation of Jim's impersonation of Charlie, of Charlie Wrangle. Charlie Wrangle. <laughs> who once called Jim that mimic. Right. When he came on the that show. That mimic. That mimic is going to get me in trouble. That's what, exactly <laughs> what he said. And that was okay. hysterical. Tyson is, Audra, is Audra's dad. Hold, please. Uh, Tyson in Albuquerque. Uh-huh. Uh, I, subject line, I reveled in your rebel show. That's oh. funny because it was at the Rebel Center. The Rebel Entertainment he Center. He reveled in yeah. it. That's funny. Mom, I love you with the heat of a thousand suns. Just got home from Albuquerque. Sexy liberal save the world uh, tour performance. Uh, it was nice to finally meet Chris's muscles in person. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making him sit outside the venue for our amusement. <laughs> He's traveling eye candy. Yeah, you know, can't help it. Uh, John, Hal, Frangela, uh, John, Hal, Angela, and Francis were hilarious as usual. You were raunchy, inappropriate, and overly sexual. In other words, perfect. Chef's kiss. You were spraying your cooter with something. Yeah, it's the Lumi commercial bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I stole your line about uh, Christy Gnome's goat just needed Lumi. Oh, okay. Well, you know. She needs a little veg spray. She I am be alive today. I'm what? here to serve you. Thank As you can Thank tell you. by my shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I did tell Valerie to play my masturbate to her ad for Congress where she's driving the car. Really? What was the reaction? <laughs> I'm like, I know you're straight and married. I just, just, can I say? Same reaction when I use the word liquor in front of Mark Pocan. I don't, I can't, you Pocan. can't let me out of the Pocan. house. Pocan. Right. Pocan. I love that it's that part and not the liquor that I used in front of a <laughs> congressperson that it's has We're you. already over well, that. He's a homo, so he's heard everything. <laughs> I don't leave my house, and I, it's just why I cannot be. You're going to need my Wrangler at this Biden thing, because I'm, I'm very good about that. God knows what I'm going to say to Julia Roberts. Don't latch on to Obama like a koala, please. I or Ms. Last, Roberts. I did last time I met him. I know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ron was. Oh, Ron was with me. Okay, we got to go. Secret okay. Service, let go. <laughs> I already have had an okay, so, FBI background check to meet president, so I should be fine. Okay, yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, so Tyson says Audrey, our Charlie Wrangle impersonator, was unable to attend this time because she's a third year med student. <laughs> because uh-huh. I am 11 to billion <laughs> years old. We're old. It's this kid is. Oh. Yeah. She is uh, Audra. Audrey, excuse me. <laughs> So she and, has, and has no free time. Yeah. Thanks for coming to town and bringing the money. I promised to vote Biden in blue up and down the ticket uh, this November. Tyson in Albuquerque. There you go. Audrey's dad. Now, what is she studying in med school? Is it plastic oh. surgery? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> Something that can help, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so can I say, I Chris, you saw I was reading... Uh, the, my friend Joe Madison's book on the yeah. plane, mm. the, our, our late great uh, Black Eagle from uh, here at Sirius XM. And I, I, what a life, I mean, what a beautiful life of activism. And it just broke my heart. He talked in there about his wife had, you know, just had a stroke and he was dealing with a recurrence of prostate cancer. And, but just talked about, you know, it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. He, I mean, he has this fascinating life of... Right activism and yeah. obviously a brilliant broadcaster thieved the radio hall of fame award away from me <sighs> hey we got last couple fridays ago I'm, show not that, that we I'm could bitter. submit yeah. oh sure yeah. yeah yeah the one with no guests and yeah. no phone calls that yeah. one anyway but the here one was, that nobody heard here right. was my point here was my point christopher <laughs> okay by the way you're too nice to him when he starts doing all that right wingy buzzkill you know blocking to clutch the pearls oh, what do i do now what do, i got i just is, you need me here you, you have, need me on this wall. You have no idea how many people came up to me in Albuquerque You're and a said, naysayer. You're always right. No, I you agree are. with you oh, more than Stephanie. Ass kissers. Oh, my you God. Have Chris no has more ass kissing sickle fans. How many people said that oh to me? Oh, my God. They're just trying to make you feel good because you're pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my point. Uh-huh. Um, Joe Madison would always say to callers on his show, What are you going to do about it? Mm-hmm. And you guys played in Ellie Mistal. 
uh, clip, I think, yesterday. Mm -hmm. By the way, show's fantastic without me. We ought to think about that. <laughs> oh, you already have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, I think you were talking about the Supreme Court. Right. And he mm -hmm. said, the question is not what, you know, they're going to do. is what are we going to do about it? Right. And I was reading Joe's book. And I, look, I scrawled on my, my little, yeah. You took notes? No, but it reminded me. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I thought there might be a test on Joe's book. It's fantastic. Get it. <laughs> okay. Radioactive. Right. Get it. Well, that, that was the name of my off-Broadway show. Because <laughs> everybody in radio thinks it's the first time I was doing it. You need to give a Stephanie Miller Radioactive, everybody. You need to give a performance of that one-woman show to a Patreon subscriber. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I can't remember it. Oh, it was awful. You, ha you okay. have to have it written oh, down Oh, that's somewhere. the one J John Kennedy Jr. came to and left his scarf. And there was a whole thing in the New York Post about it. I was holding it hostage. <laughs> okay, where am I? I don't oh. know. <laughs> no, it just, but it reminded me, what Joe always says about what are you going to do about it. It's it reminded me not to get depressed and feel powerless, but to double and triple down. Because you were asking, Chris, because as you do, buzz killing, blocking naysayer. <laughs> But you said, like, what is anybody doing about the Electoral College? And I think you're right. It's like, rather than letting us feel overwhelmed and depressed, let's double and triple down. Let's demand Supreme Court, not just resignations, recusals. I don't know what we'll get, but we can certainly demand it. Resignations, recusals, expanding the court. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get what you were saying. Biden probably can't say it now. No. But you know what? It's perfectly legal, like you were pointing out. Mm -hmm. We should. We have 13 circuits. We should have 13 Supreme Court. It's not like, you know, right-wing that's totally against the rules, like Mitch McConnell's pulled on the, the Supreme Court. Yep. This is totally at, within the, the bounds of the, the you know, Absolutely. the rules in the Constitution. Oh, sorry. Stop my own music. I played myself off. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So I, I think that's one of the things. Just let's get such huge majorities we can do all that. Um, I, I just say let's not give up. Let's double and triple down on democracy. I'm tired of us going, oh, well, we can never do it. We can never change the electoral college or we and you were right jody it's completely racist and Very i just racist. say let's double and triple down let's not feel like oh we just can no one no oh, they're not going to recuse and we won't probably not but i'm glad at least dick durbin is calling for it mm -hmm. you know and i mean we should start with resignation and then maybe get recusal you can tell they're scared about this alito thing yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When, when you got uh a Lindsey Graham yeah, talking yeah. about it, saying yeah. it was uh, not not the best of ideas. Best yeah, oh, absolutely. Lindsey Graham, wow. You can watch his snitch. You can watch wow. his pearls. Yep. Literally. <laughs> his pearl necklace. Did yes. He? Huh. Okay. Yes, it was like that was my opening joke in Albuquerque, Jody, is that I ate the green and red chilies and I a brick uh, large enough if like Katanji Brown Jackson had uh, flown a Black Lives Matter flag, the right wing would have. That's how large the brick would have been that they. Right? right? The red and green chilies will do that to you. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need my thing. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, we have, uh, what did somebody, <laughs> they tweeted that Charlie's Pierce is like saltwater taffy. Oh, here it is. Rick says, uh, what a delicious show today. Charlie Pierce is like a boardwalk saltwater taffy while Tristan Snell is that white chocolate truffle. Oh. And America owes a big thank you, Stephanie, and the crew for bringing us only the best of American progressives. You're welcome for the taffy and the white truffle. There is some... And then someone else said, H wh how can Tristan Snell be so handsome? And I said, I will ask him. Uh, well, I would parents. Like an I would like an answer His to that parents, as well. perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> and Charlie's not like the gross saltwater taffy, like no. the black ones that you get. The... No, no, no. no. Oh, it's yummy. Black ones. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. no, it's black, the good stuff you get on Catalina Island. It's yeah, the he's really like good the good stuff. pink saltwater yeah. taffy. Yeah, black taffy doesn't matter. No. I'm sorry. I don't, I just, I need someone needs to say it. Black licorice, also gross. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the black taffy is Red licorice, licorice or not at all. Right. Pardon me? You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 